John M. Spivey, M.D. Spivey. Spivey? Spivey, yeah. All right, Spivey it'll be. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm still at a kind of loss as to know just why the people over there uh, would think in terms of sending you here. Why did they think that you might be mentally ill? Are you? Jesus, uh, don't it say on there? I mean, I... Said you were going around bouncing a ball. Yeah, well, why don't you put the whole fucking Harlem Globetrotters in jail then, or in a mental institution? <laughs> I mean, bouncing a ball, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but an Who imaginary ball? Huh? An imaginary ball? Imaginary ball? I don't even know what they're talking about. There are other things on your record, McMurphy. Yeah? Let's see. Have you ever you know, assaulted a woman? No, uh, never have, Doc. I mean, I don't believe in beating up on a woman. Uh, some of them like it, you know what I mean? Just a little, squeeze them a little bit every mm -hmm. once in a while, but I don't, I don't go that far. I don't ever beat up on a woman, you know, Well, Doc, I'm pleased I, to hear I, you say that, McMurphy. Thanks, Doc. Because the one thing that uh, I know that, if, that you'll do very well here on is if you just live up to the rules. Now, we've got very few rules. Yeah. Not like the penitentiary. We've got just a very few rules. Ah, that suits me fine. Less rules, the less to be broken. Well, Murphy, you know I like you. Thank you. I really like you. I like you too, Doc. Okay. I think we're going to get along just fine. You bet you we will. You needn't talk. I think we can. That's important. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Where you going, Chief, huh? Going to see your great white father? No, no, he's going to see his great white mother. <laughs> Get him big enough to go bear hunting with a switch. <laughs> Look at him, he'll marry me like a baby. Uh -huh. Good morning, Miss Ratchet. Morning, Miss Ratchet. Good morning. Hey, Warren! Big enough to go bear hunting with a switch. Hold him. Hold him tight. Say, uh, Bill, who's the top loony around here? Come on, I let it come. What, what do we mean? You can't get above that? Oh, you know what I mean. I mean, who's Martina. the top loony, you know? The big nut, no? You mean the pe pre pre president of the pe pe Patients Council? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mi mi Mr. Har Harding, mm -hmm. the mi mi man, man wants to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Does he have an appointment? Um, do, do you have an appointment? Do I need an appointment? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm a very busy man. He is a busy man. <laughs> well, um, I can wait.
Let's get the cards. Fifty-two different positions. A little item I picked up from a friend of mine. She and me's been through twenty-nine of them. <laughs> See that? Here we have a picture of Mom in her nighty. Dad in his nighty. <laughs> And sis in her garter belt. Don't touch the cards. Mr. McMurphy. Excuse me, boys. See if you can't tie that down, will you, Jim? Welcome to our ward. Well, thank you, ma'am. My name is Miss Ratchet. I'm the head nurse here. Mr. Warren will show you to your bed. Please leave your things in the cabinet. Now, I want you to relax, and I want you to get acquainted with your new home. If there's anything you need to know, don't hesitate to ask. Huh. You'll have plenty of time to learn all the rules we live by. Ma'am? Sit down, Mr. McMurphy. That man, uh... Sit down. Will you please sit down, Mr. McMurphy? I think Mr. McMurphy will remain seated now. Would you take care of Mr. Ellis, please? Let me get your nails out. Big man like you, Ellis. Let's go get cleaned up. Mr. McMurphy, could I explain to you a basic rule we have here? A rule you have to obey. A rule we all have to obey. Otherwise, we couldn't hold these sessions. The rule is, you must remain in your chair throughout the session. Do you understand? You must remain in your chair. Yes, ma'am. I guess I understand you. Good. Old group therapy shindig. Bunch of chickens at a pecking party. Pecking party? That's a very strange analogy, my friend. Ah, it's a very good analogy, my friend. But that's okay. It's who pecked the first peck that surprised me. How you like that smile? You like that smile? Huh? You know? What are you doing, hard huh? Mm. You really are extraordinary, Mr. McMurphy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you just arrive on the ward. 
And already you sum up all the works of Freud, Jung, and Maxwell Jones in one grand analogy. It's a packing party. I ain't oh. talking about Fred Jung, buddy. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about what I saw. I'm talking about that chicken shit meeting and what that nurse did to you. What'd she do to me? I don't know what she did to you. I just know what I saw. A bunch of grown men so fucked up you didn't even know what end was up. <laughs> Ain't that right, Jesse? <laughs> look, Miss Ratchet happens to be a competent psychiatric nurse. You think she's trying to help you? Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. Mm. Only a damn fool would make a remark like that as if she was some kind of monster pecking at her eyes. Well, she's not pecking at your eyes, buddy. She's pecking at your house. No, no, she's Come pecking on. at your house. Oh, that's not funny. That's a nice cheese. Nice Don't forget your PA rating, my friend. PA? What's that? Let me see. Huh? Potent huh? Potential assaultive. Potential assaultive. Great. What's that mean? Five cents worth of electricity, and you're out of everybody's hair. Yeah, well, I ain't afraid of electricity, pal, so she can go fuck herself. You know what I mean? OK. You persist in your ways, and you'll end up in med surge. Med surge? What's that? Lobotomy. Two? Yes, I'll take it. Okay. Mr. McMurphy, hmm? where are your clothes? Uh, I wasn't given any clothes. Clever. Mr. Washington, why wasn't this patient given an issue of convalescence? Well, we can't have the patients running around in a towel. I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> McMurphy! Yeah. Go. Well, geez, what about my, uh, my, uh, um, it's, uh, oh, huh? 